You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, and welcome to another episode of CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. This segment today is initially airing on June the 14th, the traditional time of year when CNAs are recognized for their dedication to the team. I would like to take this opportunity to give a shout out to the 1 million plus CNAs, home health aides, patient care technicians, assisted living caregivers, and other formal caregivers. Thank you for providing such a valuable humanitarian service to those who need help and assistance. The range of skills and services you provide are numerous and varied, but the bottom line is you make people's lives better. As a former director of nursing services in a skilled nursing facility, I was only as good as the CNA team I had the pleasure of working with. CNAs have a very heavy lift these days, often working staff challenged, and with an increasing population of Alzheimer's and dementia residents. I know there are so many great CNAs out there just doing their thing, going to work, and providing great care despite the challenges, and I thank you for that. I have worked with some incredible CNAs who have taught me things, encouraged, and inspired me. To all the CNAs of the world, keep caring and keep believing that things will get better. Please know that your pay is not reflective of your value. You are worth so much to those you serve. I love you all, and I wish I could recognize each and every one of you individually. CNAs matter. And now for this week's CNA Hero, I want to send a thank you to the Des Moines Register for initially printing this story. Bree Salem is an 18-year-old who just graduated from Valley High School in West Des Moines, Iowa. She enjoyed all of her classes, especially the advanced placement science classes, but her favorite class of all was the CNA course that she completed. Just over a month before graduation in the early morning hours of April 2nd, Bree was getting ready for school. She was going along her routine and she just happened to notice something didn't sound right. Weird noises echoed in the upstairs hallway. She compares the noises, the sounds, to elongated snores or deep muffled gurgles. She walked into her parents' bedroom and she found her father, Ray, lying in bed, gasping for breath. Her mother had the phone in her hand and was calling 911 while attempting to give CPR. His teeth were gritted and he was grimacing. And Bree's mother said that she could see that they were losing him. What happened next, medical professionals have told the family, was the beginning of a miracle. Ray was lying limp in his bed. Lisa was on the phone calling 911. And so Bree immediately jumped in to give the CPR correctly while her mom was on the phone. She jumped into action. She took the pillow out from underneath her father's head, moved him down in bed a bit so his head wouldn't hit the headboard. Bree said she then just started. Bree said she was crying and yelling. She said she was scared that she was doing it wrong. And she was scared that her dad was gone. Especially with CPR, she said, you don't get that instant gratification. Bree said it was just scary that she still continued CPR. 
Emergency medical services arrived about three minutes later, Bree said, and her dad was rushed to the local hospital. He was placed in a medically induced coma and underwent hypothermia treatment in order to preserve brain activity. Almost 24 hours after the doctors had cooled him, Ray had an arrhythmia, an abnormal heartbeat. They had to give him a defibrillator and shock him. And Bree says that her dad literally died twice. Once when the EMTs used the defibrillator and shocked him at the home, once at the hospital. Bree's mother said that it wasn't her father's time to go because he died twice and came back. They're calling him a miracle. Bree's father remained in intensive care unit for 10 days. Bree said she is appreciative of the education she received at Valley High, especially the CNA program. Bree said, I'm really grateful it's part of Valley. I think it's a good stepping stone for me to get my feet wet in the medical field. Bree continued, before I was iffy. She says, now I know I want to do this. Bree's dad appreciates the program too. Bree's father, Ray said, I'm grateful and I'm thankful. He continued, it's amazing because of the timeline. When she went into the CNA program, when she learned CPR and when this happened to me, he said, it's just so all relatively close together. It truly was a miracle. Bree saved her father's life. So everybody, please join me in recognizing the heroic efforts of Bree Salem, CNA hero.